All right, let's talk some high school football. Week two on the schedule, actually the third week of the season because of week zero. And we've got some good matchups here. This is the Tulsa World's Barry Lewis on Fox 23 Sports Director Nathan Thompson. Let's go through your top five games. Your column you put out. It's always in the Tuesday edition of the print edition. And you can also go to okpretsextra.com to take a look at it. And, and number one, uh, a little different than years past, which sounds weird because Jinx Union has traditionally one of the best rivalries in all of high school football in all of the country, but it's taken a little bit of a backseat to Broken Arrow Wassa the last couple of years, but it's back on top this year. Yes, Broken Arrow Wassa has been a one versus two matchup the last two years, and uh, but uh, this year it's the back to the backyard bowl being number one going into the week. And um, such a rich history in this game, uh, so many great finishes, and uh, I have a feeling we may see another one on Friday night. Uh, I think this is the most anticipated Mid First Bank Backyard Bowl uh, since 2016, as far as a regular season meeting is concerned, because both teams are off to a strong start. Jinx is the defending state champion for the first time since 2016. <laughs> yeah. And in 2016 when, uh, was a year that Union eventually won the state title. And they're off to one of their best starts in several years at 2-0. and re Two really impressive victories. Um, it just seems like uh, this is all the makings for a classic backyard bowl. All right, so number two, we talked about it a little bit, but you have broken out of the loss. So another huge rivalry here, taking another step up just because of the head coaches. Yes, uh, this is going to be the first time that Owasso head coach Bill Plankenship is going to coach against his son, Josh, who is in his first year as Broken Arrow's head coach. Uh, it's Again, this is a game that would be a great game anyway, but now you've got that storyline added to it, and that just really adds to it. Um, Owasso is, was, got a bit of a scare last week, a little bit more of a scare than I thought uh, from Fayetteville. Uh, Winning 48-42, and there were some nervous moments in the fourth quarter for Owasso, and um, Broken Arrow gave Union a scare at Union last week. So both teams are playing well, and uh, this should be a great game as well. And game number three in your top five for this week in the Tuesday edition of the Tulsa World, Vianna at Lincoln Christian. Lincoln Christian 2-0 in the season, you have them ranked number two, and they've looked good so far this year. Yes, Lincoln Christian with a blowout victory over Beggs, which I had ranked number two in the preseason poll in 2A. And then uh, Lincoln wins in the last seconds at uh, 2A number five, Jones, last week. Last second field goal, uh, two impressive wins. Max Brown, Lincoln's quarterback, is off to a tremendous start. Uh, he is definitely continuing the tradition of great quarterbacks at Lincoln Christian. <laughs> And Vianne, um, they're good as usual. Uh, Vianne was the um, 2A state runner-up back in 2019, the year Lincoln won the state title. And uh, they played a great game that year. In fact, both coaches said it was probably their best game of the season, at least going into the playoffs, and a game that helped both of those teams tremendously. Like, Link, that was a classic win for Lincoln in 2019. And um, this, again, has the makings of a really good game on Friday night. Game number four, something you don't normally expect, the Battle of the Bishops, and neither team has a win at this point. Bishop Kelly at Bishop McGinnis. Kelly 0-2 in the season, McGinnis 0-1. Yes, uh, a little bit of the luster is off this year, but uh, they have met uh, in the playoffs twice in the last three years. Kelly won in the regular season last year. Uh, McGinnis has had the better of Kelly for the most part over the last seven or eight years. But uh, they've had some really great games, and both teams are going to be very hungry for a win. And uh, it's always a great game uh, when these two teams, when these two rivals get together. And wrapping up your top five, we have Wagner at Tahlequah. Bulldogs trying to bounce back after their season opening loss. The Tigers, they don't need to bounce back. They're 1-0 on the season. Yes, it's a rarity when Wagner is not favored two weeks in a row or even one week. But uh, that's the case this time as Wagner was the underdog last week going into the game at Kawita and Kawita did win. And so Wagner with so many new starters faces a, a Tahlequah team, which has quite a few starters back. Tahlequah had a really solid win to open its season. And um, Tahlequah gave Wagner his toughest test of the regular season last year. So um, it's, I think it's going to be a similar game as last year, except you might want to flip the score around. Last year's was a 22-10 game, and I think this year it might be Tahlequah prevailing instead of Wagner, but I'll never count out 
a Dale Condit coach team for Wagner. Definitely not. Of course, pick up a Friday edition of the Tulsa World for a preview of all that night's action. And then Saturday, you'll have all the game stories and scores and great pictures by the photography team. And you can always go to okpreptsextra.com and get their coverage online. So for Fox Train 3, of course, our game of the week, same as your top game, which is Jinx versus Union. We'll be live from Union at 6.20 Friday to preview the action, live at 10.15 with highlights, live at 11 o'clock for our 30-minute show, High School Football Tonight. We'll have highlights there, reaction, highlights of a lot of games, uh, including uh, Broken Arrow and Owasa, which will be live from there as well Friday night. So make sure you watch High School Football Tonight for all that coverage. And you can always get our highlights on our website, fox23.com. Just go to the high school football page and you can check all those out. All right, looking forward to Friday night.